21 to 10 our halftime score the Oklahoma Sooners on top. But uh, as we come back in the third quarter the only thing I can say OU's offense had to sit on that sideline for a very long time to close out the second quarter but they get the ball back now. Yeah Bob Stoops last week didn't defer took the ball this week he does defer so they get the ball but you're right they sat there on the sideline can they get it going it looked like we may be headed for a blowout early. Uh, Sam Bradford the young quarterback checked off twice in the red zone found one on one coverage this the second time to Malcolm Kelly on the slant for the touchdown and then the fumble by James calls by Williams who's played a tremendous game Reggie Smith takes it 61 yards and everybody thought oh this is over Kyle Wright comes in though Ron and before Kyle Wright came in they had 38 yards of total offense on that drive 18 plays 52 yards. I think we're going to see Kyle Wright not just the rest of this game but we may see him at Miami for the rest of the year. He just looked more settled down than he's Kirby Humphrey. Freeman. I don't think mm -hmm. there's any question about that. He's also hurt. You know he's a wounded quarterback simply because he lost his job. Absolutely. And he's prepared himself well and uh, you saw that he just looked more calm than Kirby Freeman. Now the question as you said offense for Oklahoma has been sitting down. They just ran out the clock there at the end. Can they get it going. This kick is going to come down short. It's a 12 yard line. This is Reggie Smith. And Reggie is going to be tripped up and he'll take it forward to the 30 yard line and a flag from way downfield. During the return, holding number 22 of the receiving team. 10 yard penalty. First down. And let's go down to the sidelines and check in with uh, Jimmy. Well, guys, I can confirm what you just talked about. I spoke with Randy Shannon as he came out of the locker room. He said Kyle Wright will be the quarterback this half. I asked him why. He said he loved the pace that his quarterback played with. I can also tell you this. It is extremely hot and humid in Norman, Oklahoma right now. <laughs> Well, Jimmy, to explain to people who did not join us off the top of the telecast, uh, we had a pretty good deluge early on in the opening quarter. Rain just like we had yesterday. Now the sun has come out brightly, and uh, yeah, I would imagine it's a little muggy down there on that field level. Not much of a breeze. Well, you mentioned, though, these Miami guys are fairly used to weather exactly like this. Uh, you, you go through an August in Miami. And uh, you run out of roll on about once a week. <laughs> Second down. This running play will be close to the first down, but not quite good in making the stop on Allen Patrick. Let's take a look at the first half stats. Well, your average yards per play from Miami. Now, you go back to last year, they were 87th in the country in total offense. Uh, Kyle Wright struggled last year, but a lot of that had to do with young. Wide receivers and a young offensive line, but came into today, played well against Marshall offensively in the run game, have not been able to get the run game going at all against Oklahoma. Chris Brown just came in replacing Alan Patrick. He'll get the handoff and will pick up the first down. Back to right. The one thing in watching him play and having done a number of his games the last couple of years uh, a lot of talk about potential the thing that he seemed to get himself in trouble with was decision making and at times where he just literally shot himself in the foot with the situations that he knew he could have made a better deal out of but he didn't and he was the highest rated prospect out of the state of California a few years ago so the expectations were very high on him. Little play action and throws it complete. And that is Jermaine Gresham, a sophomore out of Ardmore. And I'll tell you, when you get the coaches to talk about the tight ends, Joe John Finley and Eldridge, particularly Eldridge, they are the best blockers. But as far as just still raw, still learning, this guy right here, Gresham, is going to turn into an offensive weapon. And it gets so hard if you're trying to defend them, Ron, because if Finley, Gresham, and Eldridge go out there, you think three tight ends, they're going to pack it in. But because Gresham now lined up on the line of scrimmage can run the slot you don't know what personnel they're truly in. Well they pull the guard the running back comes right behind him and it'll be Chris Brown for a couple of yards as Atkins makes the tackle. Good block that time by Zeslaw the fullback. Well and Chris Brown a young man that they wanted to redshirt last year and Alan Patrick who had switched over from defense the year before had to go in when Adrian Peterson broke his collarbone and 
Patrick had the sprained ankle and they had to pull his red shirt very late. But this is a guy Brown who's going to be 10 to 15 20 carry guy by the end of the season I think. Well, the last play picked up the first down they keep it on the ground ball is loose. I believe Miami has recovered. Yes they have at the 47 yard line of Oklahoma. Well and it looked like Kenny Phillips the safety an all American candidate who came flying in. Great job put his shoulder right on the ball and knocked it out. You, you, you listen you're a young back you should not be fumbling there but give some credit to the safety Phillips who came down it way down into the line of scrimmage to make that hit. So let's see if Miami can pick up where they left off in the second quarter. Cooper is the tailback. Ryan Hill who scored that touchdown was a little bit late getting back on the field. Kyle Wright got a man open over the middle throws it complete at the 31 to Darnell Jenkins. Unbelievable change of momentum. The first half was all Oklahoma on defense. Three and outs, punts, like we said at the halftime, 38 yards of total offense until Kyle Wright came in. Now you get a quick change, and Oklahoma back on their heels quite a bit. And if Miami can keep this going, you've got a whole new ball game, Ron. It looked like a blowout early. Cooper. Tries to get it outside and the right, nothing doing. Here's where Oklahoma really will get you in trouble because they run so well defensively, and that includes the four down linemen as well. And that's where you have to come back to those misdirections. Maybe a reverse, get something in here. We saw the run, one of the best runs earlier was Cooper going to his right and coming back with a pulling guard. You've got to use their speed against them. Second down, let's call it 11. They got to take it down to the 21 yard line to get the first down. 11 point lead Sooners. Right, here comes pressure. And he's just going to throw this one away. Again, Austin English. English and Williams, you're not going to see a hurry, doesn't get much as no. far as the stat sheet is concerned. But I can tell you, the opposing offensive coaches are going crazy trying to block them. Well, and right now, uh, English just absolutely drives the tackle run block right into Wright's lap. But that's what that was three vertical routes, Ron. I, I, you got to break those routes off. I just, you're not going to be able to protect Kyle Wright long enough to run vertical routes all day. Here comes third down. Again, they must reach the 21 yard line. Kyle Wright sets deep in the pocket. Only a three man rush, throws it complete, and that's Ryan Hill. But he's well short of the first down. Well, you talk about decision making. That Kyle Wright should have hung in the pocket. The Oklahoma came with a weak side blitz. The running back was over there, Greg Cooper, to pick it up, and, and he could have waited. He came he came off of his deep progression run earlier than he needed to. So it's going to be Zamponia who will attempt the field goal. This will be. A 45 yard attempt. Good pass. Got the distance. Yes. And he's good. Six year senior, new career long. He got that sixth year this summer. What a great story for Randy Shannon. So we'll take a timeout as Zaponia, who is out of Naples, Florida, that is, gets a career long. HD TV.